Okay, to start off, I have a joke for you. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the um, custodial closet? Supplies! The reason that joke came to mind is because, surprise, I am doing a floss tube way earlier than I thought I would. Um, it's only been a week since I saw you last, and um, I haven't even left on my vacation yet. We actually leave tonight on a red eye. Um, but I have done so much this last week that I wanted to get one in so that I wouldn't have like an hour long episode next time. So I have um, a new start. I have about two, three whips, I think, and then I have lots of finishes. So let's get going. Okay, first off is a new start. This was inspired. Um, do you ever just have those thoughts that... Um, oh, this color floss would look really good on this fabric. Well, that is the thought that I had. Um, I thought, oh, that green seaweed fabric that I had just gotten um, by Fox and Rabbit, um, how would a yellow floss look on there? So I talked with a friend and we um, decided to do it on this long dog um, dangerous liaison pattern. So I decided to do a yellow floss on the seaweed fabric and here is my start. So it's looking pretty pale. It is a pale yellow that looks more cream, but it is a yellow. Um, and I'm liking how it looks so far. This is again, just kind of a smaller one. I really like, look how that looks good. I like that. So that was a center start. You can see it is just the center motif right here. That's what I've got done. I like it. So I will get back to that. Hopefully sooner than later, but you know how things go. All right, next whip that I have had um, is on Victorine Dupin. Me and my French, you guys. I'm so sorry that you have to listen to it. Anyways, this was from one of my Reflet de Soie um, little monthly school girl sampler boxes. I believe this was January. And let's show you my progress. Here we go. So I had all the alphabets done. So I've added in her name and the year and then this border. And, you know... I love the look of borders, but sometimes they're just not very fun to do, right? And so I will bounce back and forth when I'm working on something with a border that I'll do maybe a couple of strands in the body and then um, a length on the border. Um, but this border, I love so much. It's so pretty. It's that mustard and that navy. That is navy. It looks black on your screen, but it is a navy. And it's so pretty, just so fun. So... That is my progress there. I still have, so the bottom half obviously of the sampler is done. So I still have the top half. I've got one, two, three, four, five lines of alphabet to do, and then three sides of the border. So this shouldn't take me too long to finish. In fact, it'll probably be one of my um, focus finishes when I get back from vacation. But anyways, I was happy with that progress. So Victorine Dupin. Anyways, <laughs> okay, and then here is my last whip, um, Kindness and Fortitude by um, Modern Folk Embroidery. Oh, I haven't been sharing. Um, I told you seaweed on that one. This one is on, whoa, 40 count hog bristle by Fox and Rabbit. Okay, so this one is on a 40 count Verdal um, called Lagoon or Blue Lagoon by Red Thicket Fabrics. And I did this motif. I'm loving, this is with a um, Floss of the Month by Silks for You. But I'm loving the way that <clears throat> that dark teal is looking on this fabric. It's just so pretty. And actually that's showing up pretty true, which is nice. So, Kindness and Fortitude by Modern Folk Embroidery. <clears throat> okay, now... I have a lot of finishes. I think I have five.
five finishes. So let me show you one you can probably guess if you watched my last video. I was so close and so I finished it up, Eliza's French Birds. Now Eliza's name is at the bottom with the year, but I decided I just wanted the cute little birds. And so there it is, all done. This is on a mystery gray um, even weave and um, I believe it's probably a 32 count. But those pink birds and those red berries. It's so cute. It turned out really pretty. So Eliza's French birds. All right. Next one is um, another Rifle de Soie um, box exclusive. This is from, oh, I think it was like their spring box. Um, Le Pouze de Marie, uh, Marie's chickens. These chickens are so cute. And I finished that one. Here it is. This is on 40 Count Duxbury by Fox and Rabbit. Look how cute. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, I have to tell you, this ground grass situation was no joke. It, there were a lot of colors in there. I mean, I think there's probably five, six, maybe even seven colors. So, but it does look like the ground that chickens peck on, right? That rooster, he's so pretty. And then the chicken. So another finish, finish number two that I'm showing today, Marie's chickens. All right, next one is Helene Barr, 1902, again from Rifle de Soie. This was in the March School Girls sampler box. And this one is on a 38 count Himalayan Fog by um, Legacy. And here we go, finish. This is the prettiest border. It's so pretty. And I did translate this and it says, love to my dear parents. Look, that border is just so delicate and pretty. And then those Big letters, amour, my dear parents, Helene. How sweet of Helene to do a sampler for her parents. And it is finished. All right, next one is Helene, another Helene, Shazard, Shazar, maybe, by Rifle de Soie. This, I believe, was the February schoolgirl um, sampler box from Rifle de Soie. And this one is finished told you I have been a machine this week. This is on 40 Count Duxbury by Fox and Rabbit. Now I want you to notice, so this Duxbury compared to my chicken and rooster Duxbury. Now typical Duxbury has all of this spotting, the speckling, and this piece I got, got didn't except for on the edge. You can see that there's the tiniest bit, but the color otherwise is so pretty and it worked perfectly for this sampler. So there is Helene Shazard. I love these little samplers because they just stitch up really quick. They're like the perfect size. Look at the little boat right there. Isn't that so cute? Anyways. So, finish number one, two, three, four. Lean Shazar. All right, finish number five. Hands across the sea. Aglea Sheena. I think that's how you say it. That's how I say it. Um, this was in the Hands Across the Sea. This was Nicola's birthday box. So this is a Greek sampler. I love the Greek alphabets. And it is done. All right, here we go. So this is on a just a 46 count white linen. I actually just bought a Hobby Lobby because I wanted to try their 46 count linen and it's a Zweigart so it's fine. Um, It was fine to stitch on. I didn't mind it. Um, and it is done with an Avera Soie 103. I don't remember the color. I will put it down in the notes but it's really pretty. It turned out really nice. Sheena. All right. That is number five, correct? Okay, 
number six. And this is a good one, you guys. This one has been a long time coming. My Mira Crystal Christmas. I started this one. Was it Thanksgiving? I believe. And so, let me show you. I really, last time you saw, I just had a little bit of beading to do. Um, and so I got it done. And here we go. It's so good. Look. Okay. So let me show you up close, closer. So I had the beading over here to do. So there it is. And I love, look at the beads on that dress. They are beautiful. Okay. Let me shift in the tree. And I did change the tree a little bit. This is the star on top. And then I had to, I came back when I was finished and added in these drapey. You can see those drapey beads in her hands. That was the last thing I did to finish this up. And look at the beads in her skirt. Oh, I can't see to make sure I'm showing you very well. There we go. It's just so, so pretty. So it's done. Ah. So, Crystal Christmas by Mirabilia. That was a big project to check off of the list. So, six, count them, six finishes in a week, which I was so, so happy with. I worked hard on them. I did. I worked a lot. Um, some of them didn't have very much left to do, like Eliza's Birds. That was super fast and easy. Crystal Christmas didn't take me too long to do, but it takes longer than you think to do those strands of beads. Um, there was a pattern to it. And so you have to pick up one here and pick up one here, but it was really fun. It was fun to do that. I haven't done a drapey beads like that before. So that was really fun. And all those little samplers. And anyways, I'm really, really happy with what I got done. It was awesome. Um, it was a good stitchy week. Okay. Um, then I'm going to show you some, well, some stitchy kindness, actually. I will show you that. So I got um, a little package in the mail and it said from um, Stacy Stitches um, Creative Studio. And I thought, oh, I don't remember ordering anything from her. And am I on an auto ship for anything? I don't think so. Well, um, I signed up for the Beach Please Retreat that is next February in Clearwater, Florida. And she sent us this cute little bracelet it has like a little dolphin charm on it. Let me see if I can show you. Um, look how cute he is. Let me see. There we go. Anyway, so wasn't that so nice? Now, I am so excited for this retreat because my friend Emily Call is going to be the guest designer. Um, she has the pattern ready to go. I have not seen it, but I am sure it is going to be so adorable and fun. So anyways, it's going to be really fun to go to the beach in February. I live in Utah, remember, and it is cold, like bitter cold and snowy in February. So it will be great to leave the yucky weather and to go somewhere nice and warm. And I will probably visit my daughter while we're there. So it'll be fun. So anyway, so thank you, Stacy. That was so kind of you and just made me so excited. And I believe that she still has spots available. So if you are interested in getting out of your cold, snowy weather, if you have anything like that, then consider coming to the Beach Please Retreat um, put on by Stacy Stitches. And you can just go to her um, website to sign up for that. Okay, then I have um, two Fabric of the Month clubs that came. The first one is Glowing Dreams by Fiberlicious. And I get mine on a 28 opalescent Lugana. And ta-da, right in there. It's so beautiful, you guys, the opalescent with this. Um, I think I saw another floss tuber show this and they said, oh, I think that it's probably inspired by Rapunzel, by Disney's Rapunzel because the name's Glowing Dreams and it's got these purples and then these golds in it. And I would say that's probably pretty true. 
Let me see if I can show you the sparkle. Sparkle never comes through. Oh yeah, you can. Look at that. Look at all that sparkle. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. I love this piece of fabric. So that was my Fiberlicious fabric of the month. And then I got my Fangirl Fibers. And the... Um, the theme of this one is Disney attractions. You guys know I'm all about the Disney parks. Love them. So this um, inspiration was Pirates of the Caribbean. So let me show you this. Okay, and here is the fabric. Boom, look at that. Whoa, whoa, it is looking very splotchy on camera. It is not quite this splotchy, it is. Um, definitely modeled but it's a little bit more subtle but look at all those pinks uh, it is really pretty so this was a super fun piece to get and then i also get the needle minder so let me show you the needle minder there we go it says pirates of the caribbean yo ho a pirate's life for me and I kind of have an affinity for pirates because that was my high school mascot we were the pirates so I love pirates. <laughs> so this just made me so happy. Fun fabric, fun needle minder. Okay, then I got my monthly um, schoolgirl school sampler box from Rifle de Soie. You can get these from Hobby House Needleworks. Um, this is the May box because they come, they ship all the way from France and so it takes them a while to get here. And then you can order them. So look how cute that box is. Ugh. I just love that. So we open it here. Well, let me show you. Okay. It always comes with a little packet of tea and a little bag and usually a little treat, like a little cookie or something in there. And then it always comes with needles on these super cute. Oh, let's focus. Come on. Two needles on a sweet little piece of vintage style paper. So I love that. It always comes with some ribbon that matches the color theme. Oh, so can you guess the color theme? And then it comes with a bunch of Averisua fibers in that color theme. So here we go. The color theme was green. So look at these beautiful silks. Oh, they're so pretty. So beautiful. So there are those. And A103. Look at that fun color of green. Oh, that's not showing up. There we go. And that, so that's 103. And then some pearl thread. So there's that. Another fun color. And then it comes with the pattern and the thread to stitch it. So here is the pattern. It is C. Bria. Anyways, look how pretty that is. And that will be so fast. Um, I have to admit, I don't know that I'm looking forward to that border. That border does not look fun to me. But this should go pretty fast. And here is the silk to stitch another 103. I love this olive green. So that is the box. Um, it also comes with a little postcard of the sampler. And then it's just wrapped in tissue paper with cute stickers, sealed with cute stickers. I saved the packaging this time. So there's that one. And there's this one. So usually the chart is wrapped in one. This was the chart. And then this was all the fibers, the silks. So that is my May box. Again, let's just look at the front just because it's just so cute and see. So it has the name of the um, girl of the sampler whose sampler it is. And then look, it's just that cute stamp. I wish I could peel these off and put them um, in my little like, book of days calendar, but they don't come off, which makes me sad. So I just keep them like this. Cute, cute. Okay, next. So, okay, I think I will show you 
And then we'll start with this. Okay, I placed an order with um, Victorian Rose Needle Arts. I really love to order from her. Her shipping is usually always so fast and she had a Memorial Day sale, so that didn't hurt either. So I got two pieces of fabric. The first one is, oh, Tabby Cat, just the ticket. This is my first piece of Tabby Cat. And here it is. Oh, and of course that's way washing out. It is like just a lovely, light, creamy. Oh, it's not gonna show at all, you guys. Anyway, it's just really warm, creamy. Uh, I mean, the further back I get, the better it looks, but anyways. So it is just a lovely, lovely sampler color. Just nice and neutral and beautiful. So Tabby Cat, just the ticket. And then the other piece of fabric I got um, was Eucalyptus by Fox and Rabbit. Oh, I pinned it together. Okay. This is the most beautiful green fabric. It like has kind of leans towards the blue side maybe. Um, yeah, about right there maybe. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I want more already. So I don't know what I'm going to do on this, but it is going to be so gorgeous. And I will definitely buy more of this. Oh, the most perfect green. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so good. So that was the fabric I got from her. And then I got some charts. Now, if you don't know already, I am a sucker for Quakers. I love Quakers. I just love the individual motifs and the way they're grouped together. So I got a couple of Quakers. The first one was um, Hope Quaker Style by Ori TM. This is my first Ori TM pattern. It is beautiful. And then I also got Love by Ori TM. Hmm, sorry, I'm trying to negate the glare. There we go. So, just so pretty. Quaker motifs just get me. I love them. <laughs> love them, love them. All right, and then I got, oh, I've wanted this chart forever. And I finally got it. And so I got a Savior's Praise from Shakespeare's Peddler. When I was at my LNS, which is Craft Center Fine Stitchery, um, I was chatting with a lady there and she said that she was just finishing this up and she said it's huge. So I think I am going to stitch it on a 46 count. With a four, on a 46 count, it will fit on a fat quarter. So that will be great. And I will use um, all the called for threads, just it calls for anchor. But I love, look, the border is just, it's different. It doesn't repeat. And it's so pretty. And I really love this little bit that has this ship and this water that's contained with the border. And I love the verse and the basket and the trees. Look at all the deer and the little house, the heart. Oh, and the flowers hanging. Like there's just so many beautiful elements in this chart. I love it. Love it, love it. So I'm so glad that I finally got it. Like I said, it's been on my wish list forever. I finally pulled the trigger. Okay, then I also got, guess what, another Quaker. This is almost more like a Verlandi sampler, which I just learned. I've been saying that wrong. I was watching Ever Totes this morning. Um, and they said that Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery has been schooling them on how to say it because he just released a huge Virlandi sampler. Um, and you guys know, if you've watched before that I am working on a massive Virlandi sampler. So anyways, um, but this is a long dog opus two. Again, all those motifs. Oh, they're so beautiful. It is fantastic. So oh, love that. Okay, and then I got this, and I've been wanting this one for a while too, just because it's so fun. It is by Carriage House Samplings, the birds and the bees. Because look, you've got that pink and blue bird, and then you've got that pink deer, 
and I love the color of the leaves that they're that olive green and um, like turquoisey blue and then the berries those birds of course a berry bowl and look at those bees I love this one too it's good to love the charts you get right <laughs> so the birds and the bees okay and then I also got this one and this is a new to me designer as well sampler co midnight in the garden and so again look at those motifs that border look at that border it is gorgeous and those butterflies up there oh it's kind of not focusing sorry guys oh there we go and all those motifs oh it's so pretty so so pretty and hmm all right i've got to find something else but i'll look for it in a minute um so this made me go look at um vicky clayton fibers because that is what it is, is used on it and so i placed a an order from vicky clayton so i got the midnight in the garden i haven't taken them out of the package yet sorry so, but you can kind of see their purple and navy blues Oh, that's not very good, but you can see, can you see that purple? Look at those purples. So two purples and I think two blues. So I am just have to pick some fabric and ready to go on that. And then I also got from her, um, she has mystery 25 yard spools. And so I got one of those and ended up with a teal. It is lovely so so pretty and I also got she has a like pack of reds perfect reds pack oh and I just dropped one <laughs> sorry guys I do have to say I don't love spools so I don't know if I will put them on drops or I will leave them we'll see I don't know but these reds they really are like the perfect reds and they're on 25 yard spools just all slightly different, but perfect for red samplers. So love those. And then she also had a pack for, let me grab it and show you. Oh, right here. Um, the tropical Quaker sampler that can be found in the gift of stitching. So they use her flosses exclusively. And so I got those glasses. So let me show you because I did open these ones. <laughs> okay. These colors are stunning. They're so, so pretty. This is going to be a fun one to stitch. Really fun. Okay. There we go. Oh, uh, can you see? Yeah. Look at those fun colors. Oh, I love them. And look, isn't that going to be so fun? all those colors. So I have that all ready to go. Okay. Then I was talking with my friend, um, about Victorian motto threads and went on to Etsy and ended up with this pattern. What's it called? Mm, Harmony. So there's birds and kind of Quaker motifs that make the border. It is really beautiful. And I bought it with the threads. Let me pull them out. So it comes with two skeins. But it's kind of like a navy purpley, like a grayish purple. Anyways, let's see. Oh, I don't know if it's going to show up quite how beautiful it is. But it's so, so pretty. So oh, I need to find some fabric so I can start this. Again, they gave sent it with two skeins. So I have that. Then I went on to Modern Folk Embroidery's website because I like buying from websites if at all possible um, because then the designers get more of the the payment for their chart rather than Etsy or someone taking the um, cut or even like an LNS. 
because I order enough from LNSs and ONSs. So anyways, so I got a bunch of charts there. Um, so I went for this one, How Doth the Little Busy Bee. And so I just got PDFs and then printed these out. And then I have the little zip top bags that I put them in. But I love this. Love it. And then I also got Summer Bower. It's just a cute little piece. That shouldn't take very long to stitch. But it's super sweet. And then I got Birds of a Feather. And this is four charts. Look at those cute little pillows. I think this would be a cute um, small for a smalls exchange. So I love those. Look at the cute peacocks. Red peacocks. I love it. Love it. And then I got this cute little one. This is Quaker Medallion Bird in a Grapevine. Again, just another super sweet, fast one. That's finished in a hoop. That's super fun. And then this one, Quaker of Hearts. Which, don't you love the little hearts in this motif here? And then up there, and there. I mean, just all the hearts, right? Super fun. Love that one too. All right, that is all my haul. I know that's kind of a lot for a week, but you know, everything just comes in like all at once, it seems like. Okay, then I already talked to you guys about my planned starts. I do have one more. So um, my friend Jill and I, are going to start, sorry, let me, we're going to start A Perfect World. Now, you may remember this one because somebody um, UFO'd it and left it at um, the St. George uh, Southern Utah Stitchers Retreat, and so I picked it up. So I am going to finish it. So that is what started. So I do have a head start. <laughs> I told Jill she could start before our official date so that she could catch up. But, um, and this is on, uh, I mean, it is an orangey fabric. The modeling is really drastic there and it is not that way at all. But um, it is on a Bittersweet Joblin 32 count, I believe. Yep. So, and I love Joblin. It's just such a soft fabric. It's just so nice. And it's an even weave, which is, nice sometimes right because then you don't get the slubs like I love working on linen <clears throat> but then you get the slubs and especially um when they like fray out you know and then I have to try and trim it because it's interfering with my stitches or covering my stitches and it's just and then that's scary to try and trim that because I want to be so careful anyway so Jobelin is nice but I like all fabrics right <laughs> so there is that cute berry bowl is done. And then those words. So when I get back, we are going to start this. I've got my floss all braided and on a ring ready to go. The colors are beautiful. I am using the DMC conversion. Jill is using the fancy floss version. So it will be fun to see. My favorite part of this is look, the checkerboard grass and then this border. I know that's a lot of black, but oh my gosh, black just it makes these kind of things stunning. So I love, I love that border. Because otherwise it'll be pretty fast. Like the house might take a little bit, the two little houses. The words go so fast, all these other little motifs. So the grass and then this is going to be pretty time intensive, but it will be so fun. And I'm so excited to do it with my friend Jill. All right, uh, that's all I have today. So I will be back maybe in a week. Uh, well, a little more than a week because I'll still be on vacation this time next week. Um, so maybe in a week and a half, maybe in two weeks, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed what I had to show you today. And until next time, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to stitch. Bye, everyone.